Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Another pickups video for you today. Uh, I've got a mixture actually of three different gaming systems, shall we say, because they're not consoles necessarily. And uh, you'll find out more in a second. So here we go, I'm gonna get straight into it today, no messing. First game, pretty much in theme with the vid series of videos I'm doing on my channel at the moment. Bit of a Halloween one for you. It's Nosferatu. I'll just say the, the vampire. I've got to zoom in. Oh, yeah. Wish this camera had autofocus. It's a real pain in the butt. Nosferatu the vampire. There we go. There's the back of the case for you. Pretty good condition this one actually. No instructions though. But there we go. There is the cassette for you. This is another job lot from eBay. So. Uh, Maybe no, I'll put them in the background because it's going to get too off put. Yeah, another job lot from eBay. This one, so I'll tell you the total of everything once we've finished. Um, sticking with the ZX Spectrum first of all, Daily Thompson Super Test, which was the sequel to Daily Thompson's Decathlon. See the main camera's wobbling all over the place as I zoom uh, as I focus. This is obviously on the Hit Squad label, which was the budget label, but I believe if we have a look, yep, yeah, there we go. So I'm buying these from the same supplier. Um, they're selling like a load of job lots off on eBay. And these again are the Software Plus versions, the reissues. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if part of me would rather have the originals, you know, but as far as I'm concerned, these are as close to the originals. If they're not available out there, and some of these games go at silly money, really, for what they are, then I'm happy to buy these to put in my collection. At some point, if the authentic originals become available I may add them to the collection but for the moment I mean these are in such good condition that I just figured you know I've got to snap them up here's another one Target Renegade um, have actually played this for my channel um, and obviously it's a ZX Spectrum version getting close there and have a little look at that little beauty obviously that's not the ZX Spectrum graphics that is on the bottom left uh, sorry bottom right corner can focus yeah, you can't see it probably through the glass case to be this one is not one of the copies look this is an actual original hit squad with the instructions inside so this one's a good one and this is in I mean it's in awesome condition not a mark on the case brilliant so I was very happy with that one uh, I'm going to try and get all the ZX Spectrum games done first. This might actually be the last of the ZX Spectrum games. Gridiron 2 from Alternative Software. There we go. That's the back of the case. And this again is another original. So it's not one of those copies. As with always, instructions on the inside. And again in very good condition. I mean, these ones are probably the best condition uh, out of the lot that I've bought so far. Not really a mark on any of these cassette cases, which is great. Um, okay, let's have a little look what we've got here. Now we're moving on to the Commodore 64. Here's the first, first one. Very well-known game, Zaxxon. Arcade conversion, I believe. From Sinsoft. Forgive the camera shake when I do that. The camera's set up on a tripod so it's very wobbly but i'd rather zoom in and so you get a good picture again there's not any instructions with it so i don't know if they're on the inside let's have a look sometimes they put them on the inlays no not on this occasion so this one just hasn't got instructions with it but again it's in very good condition box wise a little mark where that can be cleaned off that's not anything that's permanent on the side there part of the same job lot which I will tell you, oh, I'll tell you now how much the job lot is. So um, I had 10 games. They will send them in 10 game job lots. Uh, and this actually cost me £16. So £1.60 a game. Free postage. I think that's a bargain, an absolute bargain. Considering, you know, you're not going to get these games anywhere else. And the quality of some of these games. I mean, amongst my favourites, Target Renegade, one of my favourites. I love Zaxxon and there's a couple coming up as well that I absolutely love. Um, including this next game, World Games from Epics. 
Yeah, I don't know if any of you are familiar with the games series. I call them the games series because you used to have summer games, summer games two, winter games, world games. Um, you had California games, and then they they even brought out the games summer edition and the games winter edition later on. Um, not as good those ones, but. I mean, California Games, World Games, Summer Games 1 and 2, <laughs> Winter Games, they were absolutely fantastic. Especially playing, like, multiplayer. I mean, you know, these days I don't really play a lot of multiplayer. I'm the only person that I know who's interested, like, you know, in my household, of course, who's interested in playing the retro games. So I don't tend to play a lot of multiplayer games. As you can see, original case. It's got a bit of a rip on the thing, but it's not too bad. So it's another absolute bargain as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, if you get a chance to play these multiplayer, you know, great fun. Absolutely great. Me, me my brother, my dad, um, my stepmom, and sometimes my stepbrother would play um, these games. Um, such such a lot of fun. Great memories. Okay, on to the next one. Not a game I am familiar with. I must admit, I got this more for my wife than anybody else. She is absolutely Titanic mad. There uh, we go. Released in 1986. Electric Dream Software. This one has got, obviously, just dropping everything. The original cassette. Obviously, it's not the copy. And then we've got a load of paperwork inside. Instructions. And this looks like a, like a HUD readout of the boilers. You've got instructions, press management, Titanic Salvage Laboratories. There you go. Not quite sure really what the game's about, but I'm assuming it could be you have to go down under sea and find the Titanic. I don't know. That's pure guesswork. But uh, yeah, it's in pretty good condition. Excuse me, I've got to try and get the bloody thing back in the case. <laughs> I actually knew I should never got it out. There we go. Um, yeah, it's in good condition. It's got it's got a little mark. If I zoom in on there, just like you know where they've taken the price stickers off over the years. But other than that very good condition and like you say like you see all the paperwork in there okay the next few were released by a company called edos now that they must have been a budget label company um must have been i'd never heard of them but they've released these big box versions of some classics including this little one the only thing about the edos one she's really weird if you look in that corner it doesn't actually tell you from the front which version it is it just leaves all its options open says right you can have any of those versions well obviously you've got to look inside for the version you get and this version is the commodore 64 version there we go and it is another one of these reissues i'll just click on that there we go so it's another one of these reissues from software plus again all games i have been assured are tested and working so um you know you have to take people's word on that that's the Amiga screenshots on the back of that. Uh, and obviously all instructions are on the inside. Um, but yeah, yeah, again, <laughs> I say not ideal, but then when you add these games to your collection for £1.60, can you really quibble? I don't think so, personally, but there you go. Uh, the next two kind of go together, so maybe I'll show them together. Again, both Commodore 64 games. We have Fallen Angel and Guardian Angel. I believe they're both the same, although one is alternative software and the other is Codemasters. So maybe they don't go together. I'm not 100% sure, but this tape, look at that. That's got some marks on it, but I think that will clean off. Looks a dodgy color though, so I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> but again, it's one of these reissues. It hasn't actually got it labeled on this one, which is a little bit weird. They used to write the name of the, the game on the cassette, so I hope that is what it's supposed to be. But again, I, I, don't, I trust this seller now. I've bought a few off there. See, we're, we've got the same situation here on this one. Instructions fully inside, just so you know. Um, but, you know, I've been assured of what as to what everything is, and I've been assured everything is working. So, you know, I, I trust the seller. I've bought a few off of them now, so I don't think they're going to rip me off. There's two games on the back showing the screenshots so that's not bad so yeah that whole lot there cost me um 16 pound one pound 60 a game with free postage i thought that was really good 
Uh, the next three I got were from a charity shop from a totally different system. And all from the same system, funnily enough. So all original Xbox games. I have Lord of the Rings of the Third Age. I don't know if anybody's played this, but it's absolutely brilliant. It's kind of like a like an RPG. It has RPG mechanics, really. There you go, one RPG to rule them all. Um, basically, yeah, you level up your characters. You get different spells and attributes and stuff. It's a really good game. Really good. I'm a little bit disappointed they haven't actually bought this um, as backwards compatible on the Xbox One. Because um, that would be really cool if they did. But it's a brilliant game. Instructions are in there. There's a disc. One pound. All these games that I got from charity shops, one pound. So I was very pleased because the next two are a couple of classics. I'm going to put them up at the same time just to back fit them on the screen. Max Payne 1 and 2. Now you can't argue with those games. Absolute classics. That's just... Oh. <laughs> requires a bit of muscle to get that open this one hasn't got the instructions in which is a little bit disappointing but I don't really need the instructions for Max Payne I've played it so many times Max Payne so I do actually have both of these on the PC as well which is probably the, my preferred way of playing them oh this one has got instructions here you go all of Max Payne yeah I still I still think I prefer playing them on the PC um let's just show the back I can get some screenshots in there I'm sure we've all played a Max Payne game at some point in our lives. Max Payne's a man with nothing to lose. I've never seen the movie, but um, and here's the second one. There we go. You can see already improved graphics. I think I preferred the second game. I really did like it. I like both of them, to be fair. Um, yeah, and again, both a pound. So. So I'm going to leave that on the screen while I'm talking. Yeah, so overall, on this little haul, £19.60. Um, not too shabby at all, I don't think, for what I've got there. Well, we've got 13 games. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think any of these Xbox games work on the Xbox One. I've got an original Xbox and a 360, so it's not a problem, but it would be nice. I always like it when they put them on the xbox one because the controller is so comfortable to handle and also they, they tend to it tends to upscale the graphics a little bit um i've been playing actually um indiana jones and the emperor's tomb on xbox one last night i played it for ages and I, actually i got stuck on it today but uh that's a, a side issue but yeah that it's the best best i've ever played it i've played it on pc i've played it on original xbox i've played it on the 360 with the original xbox disc but playing it on the xbox one it gave it a new lease of life it was it was easier to control and a lot more HD looking and yeah, it, it was a, a pleasure to play and I'm hoping they'll bring some more of the original Xbox games to Xbox One. Um, I love the Buffy games as well by the same people who make the Indiana Jones games, but they've not bought them out for backwards compatibility and I would love that. And I would also obviously love the Max Payne and the Lord of the Rings game if, uh, if they could, <laughs> if they're listening. Yeah, likely about 12 people watch my videos. I don't think it's likely that uh, the Xbox developers are uh, listening to this, but yeah, you never know. It just takes one of them to find this video. If you are, bring them out. They're bloody good. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, it's another pickups video. I've got quite a few on my channel now, and it doesn't stop here because I've already put another order in for another bundle of, um, of games on the... Um, geez, what am I trying to say here? Yeah, on on eBay, so uh, it'll probably again be Commodore sixty four. I've got a couple of bids going on different lots. I I don't want to win both of them ideally because <laughs> I like to space my purchases out per month. But yeah, the what the one I'm I'm most confident about winning I think will be Commodore sixty four and ZX Spectrum again. Um, there's another one up there I've got with sixty four Spectrum and some Mega Drive games. I could win both. If I do, I'll probably do two separate videos for them. Um, but if I only win the Commodore 64 Spectrum or if I only win the other one, then I'll be doing another pickups video probably next week, I would say. I think that's about the time frame it's going to turn up in. So, Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Sorry to rattle on at the end there. If you are a new viewer, please do throw me a subscription. I do a lot of videos like this, uh, also a lot of playthrough videos. That's the most thing I do. I've got over 100 videos on the channel, so if you have stumbled across this, why not check a few of them out and see if you like them. 
If you do, throw me a subscription and tell your friends. Share the videos if you can. That would help me out a great deal. I would love more people to see these. And I would just love to get you know some conversation going. And thanks to everybody that contributes on my channel. There's a couple of people that do regularly comment on every video. And I really do appreciate that. So thanks, guys. You know who you are. Um, I can give you a name check if you want me to at some point. Um, but just this is a general thank you to everybody that has been uh, in touch lately. And I do appreciate it. And it's nice to know that people are watching. Okay, guys. Thanks so much. Take care. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye for now. Thank you.